Being good at anything starts with baby steps. With a lot of practice, you're always going to improve. And one of the biggest learning curves in the game is redstone. Tricky, buggy, and rather complex. But once you know the basics, the possibilities can be limitless. It's time for 14 useful redstone builds to impress your friends in Minecraft. From efficient machinery to witty defense strategies, even a drop of fun. I know, surprisingly, redstone can be fun. You just need to know what to do. Let's get into it. Number 1. A Redstone Entrance If you're going to get anywhere with redstone, you're going to need a protected base. Otherwise, griefers and other players are just going to run wild and break your machinery. A redstone entrance can be built in hundreds of different ways, but sub, you've covered enough to know them all. You can create complex ways for blocks to move, and it'll make you feel awesome every time you come back home. Number 2. A Redstone Hatch Not only can we create more advanced vertical entrances, horizontal doorways and hatches can now be created by altering slime and honey blocks. These secret hatches are great for hiding buried treasure or even a hidden tomb. As you can move multiple blocks over a long distance with 1.15, a whole host of new creations have just become possible. Number 3. A Redstone Bouncer Slime is a real bouncy block, and while it can be a bit of a pain to get right, if timed perfectly, you can create a unique type of bouncing machine that propels you upwards by shooting another slime block under you each time you're bounced, giving you more and more momentum as you shoot to the sky. Maybe this is how you can get to space, sub. Number 4. Radius Messages Command blocks can't be found in the actual game, so I'll go ahead and let you jump into creative mode to grab some. But just those, sub. No TNT. Anyways, using command blocks with your redstone can result in some epic outcomes. Ever played an adventure map? Command blocks are probably behind every command. Because they can detect players within a radius, you're able to trigger area-specific messages. Even a message to hit that subscribe button. Number 5. A Redstone Parkour Course Mixing redstone into pre-existing builds is another way to rejuvenate your game. See that old parkour course you built months ago that you've completed hundreds of times? Go update it with redstone, sub! With pulses, triggers, and various moving blocks, you can create a course that only the most patient of pros can figure out. It also tests your in-game mobility and reflexes. What a blast! See? I told you redstone could be fun! Number 6. A Conveyor Belt Get to know these now, because they're going to become very popular with the addition of honey, and if you don't know how to make a simple moving conveyor wheel, you'll be way behind the rest of the group. All it takes is four pistons, repeaters underneath, and a redstone loop. Align everything correctly and make sure to place another block between each honey to create the conveyor. From carrying items to mobs, even different types of entities, I'm sure you'll soon hear this noise popping up all over Redstone YouTube channels. Number 7. Timed Lighting While not using electricity, it's still important to preserve energy and stay eco-friendly. You don't want to damage Mother Nature after all. It produced this beautiful world full of amazing creatures and ugh, those things. Get into the habit of turning off your lights by wiring up your source blocks to daylight sensors. Have lights turn off in the daytime, or even set up lamp posts to turn on when it gets dark to stop mobs from spawning. Number 8. Adjustable Enchantment Walls Enchanting is technical, surprisingly. You need a certain amount of bookcases around to boost the strength of the enchantments you want. This is also affected by how far the bookcases are from the enchantment table. Maybe you're sharing a base with a noob, or often have need for different tiers of enchantment. Why not create a piston wall that can automatically extend and retract your bookcases, thus altering how strong or weak the enchantments are? You know what else would be really enchanting, Sub? If this video got 20,000 likes. 20,000 likes and I'll give you all these enchantment orbs. Ooh, shiny! Number 9. A Piston Trap Good old pistons. They're great for helping out, but they can also cause you heaps of trouble if you're not prepared. 
To get some defenses in place, why not create something a little unexpected? Most players like disposing of their extra items in lava, so having your own lava disposal area can be very useful. Show another player how it works, but make sure not to include the trap part yet. Just disconnect the wire or something. Once the player tries to do the same thing, reconnect the wire and your piston pushing fun can begin. Looks like they disposed of themselves. Traps like this can come in all different shapes and sizes. We've even covered a few other types on the channel before, so make sure to check them out. Number 10. An Infinite Bridge Want to build a bridge, but not sure where it's going to end up? Perhaps you just want an easy way to cross the vast oceans without a boat or even to get across to a new island from your skyblock. Using the power of three natural cobblestone generators mixed with a few redstone tricks like observers and obsidian blocking, you're able to create an infinitely generating bridge that can extend outwards for as long as you want. The best part about this machine is that even if the bridge gets destroyed, it'll continue to generate and rebuild. Number 11. A Redstone Elevator There's no time like the present after all, so wasting all your time running up and down the stairs, or even taking fall damage by dropping down a floor is pretty useless. Redstone is the master of movement, and if you build it right, you can perfect an elevator that does all your moving for you. Sub's latest elevator involves the well-known honey and soul sand and water trick. As honey isn't a whole block, you're able to clip into the bubbling water and be shot up without needing to worry about air bubbles one bit. Subs also link this to a pressure plate so that he can turn the bubbles off whenever it's not in use. Number 12, the Necessity Equipper. Ever in a rush to head out, but you need to equip all of your armor, find your sword, restock your arrows and all that jazz? We'll never fear. Item dispensers can equip all those things for you, and so combining this with a few redstone memory mechanics allows us to create a wall with all of your armor and weapon options. You'll need to use item frame displays to know which is which, but it's worth it for a method so efficient. Select your gear loadout by pressing the buttons, then step into the machine and watch it equip you with everything you need to face the harsh world. Number 13, an observational trap. Not too sure how observers work? Well, if you hook up a tripwire or string to them, they're able to detect when a player moves by thus activating a trap only when a player is in the target zone. Combining this knowledge with different projectiles like arrows, splash potions, and even tridents can make for a great surprise for intruders trying to get into your base. Number 14, Mob Activated Machines. It's not just players and items that can trigger redstone devices, you know, sub. In fact, the newest mob added to the game is really good at it. The bee flies all over and can go up and down and be aggravated by attacking it. Create a simple piston doorway, but wire it to a small bee enclosure. While disguised as a simple pet, this bee will occasionally fly over the tripwire and activate your door. Ever used a mob to trigger your own trap? If so, what was it? And what's your favorite mob in general, come to think of it? Let us know in the comments. Subs is obviously the baby slime because it's so green and cute. 15 efficient and useful creations that could save the day or just make your Minecraft world that much easier to live in. I know it can be complicated, but putting your brain to work and challenging yourself can be healthy. Your brain must be as fit as a fiddle with all the stuff you've done today, Sub. All that wiring is starting to hurt my head, too. Let's set sail for the day and return refreshed and inspired tomorrow for another video. See you next time, Sub.